Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you once again for joining me over here where we chop it up about life topics. And yes, you heard my dog in the background because she won't let me be great. Anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me over here on this channel. I so appreciate it where we get to talk about life situations, be relatable on different topics, and just chill. And so I'm really enjoying doing these videos and I hope you guys are enjoying watching them. Before we get into today, to, the, to today's topic, I always have tongue twisters, right? Before we get into today's topic, let's check out the sponsor of this video. My brand new book, The Hush Language Mental Health Journal Youth Edition, this beauty right here. Go ahead and check it out. The link will be down below in the description box. And as a pin comment, click on the link to my website, thedreaminkhouse.com. Use code YAY10, that's Y-A-Y-1-0 for 10% off your purchase. Your support is greatly, greatly appreciated. Look here. Get your copy and support all my books. I'm checking for you. Today's topic, I want to talk about purging negative thoughts and negative energy. I just had a recent experience. So uh, let me share a little bit. I went away on a spa vacation, spa resort, about a week ago. I was gone for a few days, enjoyed myself, had massages, body rubs, um, different like um, food drinks, different pools, um, just chilled and relaxed for a few days and it was so beautiful. Oh my God, I came back so rejuvenated and so revived. And the moment I had to go back to work, I felt at peace. I'm like, uh, boo, you got this. You are good. You are zen in to your inner energy. You are okay. You have purged negative thoughts. You have relaxed your mind. Then I get to work on Monday. And somebody want to disturb my peace. Let me tell you how those negative, negative thoughts and energy will try to get back into you. After you said, I'm chill. So this particular co-worker decided she wanted to bring up a particular issue out of nowhere. I mean, I was cool. I was chill. I came back from break. I'm like, mm, okay, we back from break and everything. And then I walk back in and all of a sudden, hey, toy. Da, 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 da. Why do I need to know this? Why are you disturbing my peace? Like, that is messy. That is tacky. It is unprofessional. If anything needs to be said to me, it needs to come from upper management. Like, you disturbing my peace, boo-boo. You are disturbing my peace. Okay? Okay. So, when it comes to Persian negative thoughts... You have to really, you have to go to that place inside of you. Like first you have to create that place inside of you. Create that, that Zen zone. Create that peace inside of you. So you know where to go when it hits the fan. Okay. It can be very difficult, not only in a workplace, because People want to gossip and say things and do things. I have one, another coworker say, it's just, it's just a piece about you. I'm a little nervous. What you got to be nervous for? I'm trying to be peaceful. Ain't nobody going to do anything to you. Just peace. That's all I want in my life, right? But in your personal life as well, in the grocery store, in relationships, friendships, just all the way around, it takes a lot of energy. My, my first tip, my number one tip, like I previously said, is taking some time out to create that place inside of you, to create that zen zone, to create that happy place where you can just go when it gets a little tough and you can just... You know? Go to that place. And so I was able to draw into that place after a while, but initially... My little tin hat was tingling, and I'm like, ah, no, she didn't just disturb my peace. She disturbed my peace. She, oh my, oh my God, oh my God. And I really wanted to say something, 
do something. Like, no, 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 no. It ain't gonna go down like this. Mm. The ghetto bone queef so was gonna come out. But, I zinned in after a while. Because sometimes zinning in for me is getting quiet. Getting quiet on people. and just like, I gotta breathe. I gotta take some time for me. I gotta take some time for Toy. Because she got this. So I encourage you to find that place inside of you. I encourage you to take some time for you to really figure out what makes you happy. Figure out how to create that place inside of you so you know where to go. So you know how to navigate throughout that. Um, you know, because in life, we're going to get a ton of disappointments, a ton of negative thoughts and negative people in our path coming our way. But we have the power to remove them. We have the power to ignore them. We have the power to go around them. We have the power to not fall to that level. And so while it's frustrating, um, to say the least, it is not the end result. And so today's video is very short. Negative thoughts, negative energy, purge them out of you. Take some time to find out that place inside of you. Take some time to just get it all set up i mean furnish that place inside of you get your the furniture you want you know get your wall art up and everything stabilize yourself in that place for, pay your first and last month rent and everything take out the trash so that take out the trash the negative right so that place inside of you can be clean and purified and ready for you to go to when you need it Right? And I'm finding I have to go to that place more often than not these days. And I'm thankful that I created that place inside of me that is a place of peace, a place of restoration, a place that says, Toy, you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. A place that says you have everything inside of you to complete your journey, Toy, because you, my dear, represent the idea and the possibility. You know, and so I'm saying that to you. You have everything inside of you. Go to that place. Create that place first. Set it up. Set it up to be a place of peace. And then go to it. Don't let nobody disturb your peace and rob your joy. Trust me, I've been there. And sometimes it's like, uh, I want to say something. I, <laughs> I want to say something. But, mm, Jesus. I got things I'm trying to do in my life and I ain't got time for the negativity. Negative thoughts, negative energy. No, not I, I said the cat. So anyways, that is today's video. Thank you guys so much for joining me once again where we chop it up about life relatable topics here on my channel. If you haven't done so already, check out my brand new book, The Hush Luggage Mental Health Journal, right behind me. Use code YAY10, that's Y-A-Y for 10% off of your purchase by clicking on the link below. Your support is greatly appreciated. I will see you on the next video. Bye for now.